Uh, Raymond, did you have a statement or a question? Uh, a, que a question. Yes. <clears throat> now I know uh, know it's easy to be tempt uh, tempted to uh, to do so, uh, to want something so ba uh, bad you fly in the face of logic, but in your case, when you were uh, when you were trying to invest money for the. Uh, uh, make money for uh, for this uh, co uh, foundation. Yes. Uh, did you ever thought of doing some sort of due diligence with the company you were going to invest into, like getting a prospectus of that? <laughs> I don't understand that question. Oh, uh, what's this question? <laughs> what? In other words, the did you check out the company? Yeah, did you check out the company? I didn't. I just fell for the sale. It was plus it was my money. I was going to put my own money into it anyway. And so he sounded so perfect the way he presented it. And uh, uh, some other friends did it too. We all did it together. And they lost and they were crying. I'm like, it's just a lesson. It's just a lesson. And I'm so grateful because now I can see from it. You know, I didn't make the money my God. It wasn't that, it was, of course, money is important to do what you got to do. But I, I didn't feel, I didn't think I'm jumping off a bridge or missing a meal or not sleeping or any of that stuff. I was amazed that it didn't bother me like that. I saw that I had been taken and it was my fault. I listened to this, listened to the lies. You gotta doubt every thought, folks. In a way, I'm grateful or grateful that God give up, it gives us the greatest freedom of all, the freedom to fail. At least they, uh, through failure, we will be aware of what kind of a person we are. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you, Raymond. I got Cheryl last coming from Cheryl, then I gotta end it. Yeah. He brought up a good point about failure. I think the children of the lie now are not allowing people to fail, and it just makes them weaker. It's like you oh. don't have to have bail. It's like if That's you can't afford bail, statement. you can't. You, why would you do a crime? It used to be that people knew all these things, like my mother's not going to bail me out, my pa parents are not going to bail me out, and now it's almost like, well, I'm too poor. To have it's like, well, it, don't do the crime. It's it's they they forget, it's like they're taking the common sense away. They're taking people's pain away. They feel like if you suffer any pain, like you're gonna die. You're not right. gonna die. That's true. You'll be okay. I want to ask Mary about that real fast. What do you think about the idea they don't want you to fail? Well, I think of the idea that they don't want you to fail is because they want to conscript, you know, get you into their camp and make you believe that. They can help you. Does does God let you fail? Uh, yes. He does. It's not that He let you fail. It's just like some things you don't know, so you go in blindly and it doesn't work. Amazing. But you can't blame God for that. You just blame life. Life has its ups and downs. That's it. Life it's has up, its ups and downs. Ups and downs. Victoria, does God let you fail? I wouldn't, no, I don't believe so. I think he gives you the opportunity to see, um, like what Raymond was saying, he, he kind of lets you see who you are and where there are some weak spots. Like he finds the chinks in your armor. I think he allows you to see those things and observe them. And then, like you said, just, okay, it happened and move along. You know what I mean? I. I I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. But. No, so, but you're saying no, God does not let you fail? No, because I, I, what is the definition of failure? You know what I mean? Like, what is it to fail okay. exactly? So you're saying no, God does not let you fail. I'm, I'm writing you down, marking you down here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not totally clear. Oh, what? Gosh. No. No, because I'm not totally clear on what a failure actually is, because if you're still alive, you're oh, not. No. In, in essence, a failure because you're still here and you can move forward. So, did yeah. you want to respond to that? Yeah. Is this your first time here? No, I mean, you're uh, Oh, you're from the thing, yeah. I, saw, man, I, I looked for you yesterday. When I, I, I mean, uh, you, were, you, were, I you called right in front of your house again. Yeah, you, actually, I'm out in the mornings before, oh. before you get there. I was lucky to see you that day. Yeah. Does God let you fail? Uh, yeah, uh, I think the failure is actually not a, f I mean, you think it's a failure, but it's not like a funny story. I remember is when I was a camp counselor, when I was still in college, um, I really liked kids. So I thought I'd go be camp counselor, make some quick money in the summer. Yeah. 
And uh, you know, there were a bunch of like really wussy kids, and I and I grew up kind of more tough and like not militaristic, but just like straight up with the kids, right. you know. And uh, make a you long know, story short, because we're yeah, running out of time. At one time, this guy saw a kid punch a uh, punch another kid, take his hand and punch him, and I reacted by saying "stupid," right, out loud, right. I'm like, I said, I, I said "stupid," like because I have the little cousin. I'm just used to saying the, 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 the real thing. Right. They took me in the back. They said, you, you know, you can't do this. You can't call a kid stupid. You know, we got to let you go. Now, that ended up being the best thing that ever happened because I said, you know what? Screw this. Like, that day, I went to the study abroad office, and I just planned some study abroad thing. I just flipped it around, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go to England in my last semester of yeah. college. And as a result of doing that, my whole life changed. So it's like one word that I said, because I, I did what I thought was right, but yeah. I thought at the time, you know, it was like the worst thing maybe. But that same day, everything could just change the opposite direction. And so God does not let you fail. No, God just helps you in every, every way. What do you say to that? The last person did, I got it in, folks. I got to tell you, one thing we've done. Does God let you fail? Yes. He God does. will let you suffer and die. You say yes. Let yeah. me ask your husband. Does God let you fail? Yeah, when you have little kids, you watching them learn to walk, you, you let them fall. And that's how they get their balance. But failing and falling is not the same thing. Yeah, I guess there's some semantics in the definition of the word, but. Does God let you fail? I think he let me fail a whole bunch of times. And I'm grateful uh, for every one of them. <laughs> I, I learned. Oh, OK. I grew. Let me just say this because of time. God does not let you fail. He will let you suffer because in every suffering, he's hoping that you would cry out to him so he could bring you out of the darkness. Because the only reason you're suffering is that you cannot see. And he's trying to allow you to see. And so those people that started a company or something, the company went out of business, and they were never able to overcome it, they just suffered and died. They didn't like seek what's wrong, what's right, so they can find their way. God does not let no such thing as failure. They suffer and they die. They overreacted to the loss or something, whatever, right? But it's a it's a wake up for you. He's trying because some people are real stubborn. They won't naturally ask questions or know themselves. And he loves you enough that he allow you to feel the pain. Maybe you will cry out to him. The pain is an indication that you're not God. That what you think is not working. You can't control. So you should cry, oh, let me, you know, like for me, I cried out to God, let me see myself. Well, I'm doing all these things I was told to do, but I can't, I'm not getting any better in life. I'm still weak, beta. I'm still this or that, having sex, I don't wear a lot, everything, right? And he allowed me to see myself. And it was the pain that made me cry out to him finally. Because the preachers and the other people didn't have the answer. I'd ask everybody else. They didn't tell me, hey, all you need to do, know yourself, forgive, and you shall be free. No one said that to me. But he, he's trying to reach out to you. That's what, it's the pain that is making you, should make you reach out to him. That makes sense? Really. So when I lost that, that money, it was my money, but when I lost it, for the first time in my life, I didn't feel anything. It was a lesson for me. I was able to see, wow, I let that, that person... Take me in, take my money. And I, now I'm, I'm more aware of that kind of stuff now. Because when you wake up, you can see through people. They'll be acting one way and saying one thing, but you can see that they are coming from the wrong place. So that caused me to wake up even more so. That, that makes sense? 